Hi, I'm Chad Gebhardt, Product Manager for Digital Signage at Peerless AV. Today we're going to install a direct view LED mount. This is a dedicated solution, but no matter which display we're mounting, the process is still the same. So we'll go through the parts list here. This is what is included with the mount. We have our top wall plate, bottom wall plate, the end adapter rails, marked R for right and L for left, the center adapter rails, a vertical spacer, horizontal spacer, and then we have our fast pack here. Uh, detailed instructions, number 14 wood screws, a wrench, five millimeter screws, and some shims. The tools I'm bringing with me today, we have a couple of levels here. I've got a stud finder, although today we're mounting on a plywood wall, a uh, laser level, a drill with a 3 8 driver, a string line, and a tape measure. So let's get started. The instructions are going to tell you the distance from the top of the video wall to the middle of the slot here. We've gone ahead and set up the laser level where we want it. The outside edge of the video wall will be just about flush with the end of the extrusion to help us locate it there. So we'll go ahead and find our laser level line on the wall and we can go ahead and start screwing it to the wall. Now this wall is plywood. If it were metal studs, the, the wall bracket will slide along the extrusion to help you find where that metal stud is located. So we've attached the vertical spacer to the wall. This doesn't necessarily need to be attached to the wall. If you have enough people to help, they can just hold it in place. But attaching it to the wall creates a single person installation. Brian's gonna help with the second spacer. So what we'll do is we'll place that underneath the top wall plate, and then we will lift up the bottom wall plate until it butts up against the bottom of our spacers. I've moved my laser level so that it's touching the end of the top wall plate we're aligning it with the bottom here. Once we have it in place, we'll just go ahead and screw it to the wall. So we've removed our vertical spacer from the wall. We can now start hanging the adapter rails. Again, there's an R for the right adapter rail, L for the left side. The adapter rail comes with the screws on the top and bottom already installed. All we have to do is hook them onto the top and bottom wall plate. Once it's hooked into place, we have screws on both sides, top and bottom, that will be installed on the side here to lock them in place. Now that the adapters are installed, we're going to create a flat plane on the front of the mount here. Each wall bracket has depth adjustment. That'll allow us to make sure each adapter rail is on the same plane. Let's start at the end here. We'll adjust both the top and bottom to make sure this one is plumb. Go down to the other end, do the same thing at the other end, and then we'll run a string line across the front to make sure each one of them is on the same plane. both ends plumb and level. I'm going to go ahead and attach the center uh, L bracket here to the wall. That'll lock the ends in place. This will be our baseline for the entire mount. Now we're going to use our string line. We'll hook it on the little slot on the side of the adapter run it across the front of the mount, and then just the depth at each point to make sure everything is on the same plane. Now we've created a flat plane on the front of the mount. In some instances where the wall is very out of flat, we have shims. What we can do is loosen the screw on the front, just slide the shim in behind it, and that'll give you a greater adjustment range on the depth. So now that the wall is flat, the next thing we want to do is make sure each adapter rail is at the same height. We can do that by looking at the slots on the front of each adapter rail. If any of them have to be adjusted, we'll just loosen the screws on the front of the mount, two on the top, one on the bottom, and adjust the height adjustment screw on the back. 
until the string goes right through the middle of the slot. I recommend using a string here. A laser level will give you a little bit fatter line. If the string line is a little bit thinner, it can be more exact. Now that the height has been adjusted, we're going to use our horizontal spacers, the PEM studs that stick out the front, and the PEM studs will engage in the holes in the front of the adapter rails. We'll start at one end, work our way from one end to the other, securing the adapters to the front of the wall plate as we move across, making sure that they're all parallel with each other. The last step is to run a string line across the middle of the mount, make sure it's all flat, and then securing the L brackets to the wall. So now we have it all installed. We've made sure the top, center, and the bottom is all on the same plane. We've adjusted the height of every column to make sure they're all the same. And we measured each uh, adapter rail to make sure they're all parallel. We can now start putting on the displays.